Hi guys, in this video I want to talk a bit about variables in Rust. Um, could be some things that are confusing to some people. Um, let me just take an example. Let's say let um, ABC is equal to 1, 2, 3. So that is now a, um, a, a, a sort of a variable. And I can even put a type here. Let's make it into an I32. So that's one thing. And I can here say print, uh, you know, uh, placeholder, and then ABC. Right. And that's it. So that is now one way of, 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 of doing things. Now, um, if I go here and say ABC is equal to 456, now, oops, ABC is equal to 456, now uh, the, the application is going to complain because I'm not supposed, I shouldn't be able, uh, sorry, this is also print, print len, uh, I shouldn't be able to change that. Because you see here, it cannot assign twice because every variable in Rust is by default immutable. So, uh, you know, if I need to change that value, one way of doing it is basically going like this, changing that to a mutable um, variable, and then I can freely change that. Uh, taking the new, the, this, this mutability away, uh, this becomes illegal. However, there's something called shadowing, and which is like this. I can redefine the variable, the same variable with the same name, and this time give it a different value. I can even give it a totally different, um, a totally different uh, type. Now, now this ABC was started off as an integer, as an I32 with one, two, three, and then it it got redefined, and it got redefined as a different type. And if I print that that would print the D, not the one, two, three. So this, uh, sorry, this one has been shadowed by this one. So basically the, the, the second one, the second ABC is shadowing the uh, initial one. So that's, that's, that's the thing with shadowing. So despite um, this variable being immutable, which, is it, which, which it is by default, um, you can change the value, even the type, by redefining that variable. And one has to be careful with these things. Um, you know, you could use it to your benefit or to your... I mean, I personally don't like that. Uh, I prefer to give that variable as another name because I'd, I'd like to have clarity. You know, I don't like this confusion. For me, it's confusing. But other people use that to their benefit, so I'm not saying you know this is right or wrong. But this is one thing you've got to be aware of. And um, and if I if I again, like I said, if I run that, I'm gonna have the D, and I, this is completely legal. I mean, you see the the compiler's not, comp not complaining. And uh, let me just uh, uh, run that. So you see here, I got the D out after compiling that. So that's one thing you gotta be aware of. Uh, another thing is now, if you need something as a constant, because uh, some people think, okay, you know what? I can use the variable as a constant, but obviously you can see here, I can easily change that constant. Now, if you need a, definitely need a constant, you can do something like that. And constants don't get defined by, uh, or don't get declared by the, by the, by, by, by let, but by the word, by the keyword const. So, for instance, const, and then let's say gravity, and gravity is gonna be, um, let's say, a float 64, and that is gonna be equal to 9.81. So that's now a constant, and that uh, will not be um, uh, changed. And it cannot even be duplicated. Let me just, this is here just a warning telling me that this uh, variable has never been used. This, I uh, can easily alleviate this problem by just, you know, just let me copy that and change that to gravity. And that problem is gone. Um,
uh, okay that's obviously when you define constants they should like in most languages it's the case that you should have everything in uppercase most languages have this or in most uh, let me say programming environments languages you have this uh, uh, convention that you put constants in capital letters so you know they're constants that they're not going to be changing gravity and let me just follow this convention here okay now uh, if i copy that and try to shadow it just the way i did with the abc and just give it a different value that will not work uh, because it's just the compiler is going to complain gravity can only be defined once so there's no way I can change that constant except here obviously but there's no way I can shadow this constant the way I can shadow a variable that's why if you if you need constants which, which you definitely do not change then use const instead of immutable variables and these are sort of the two things I wanted to say about um, about that stuff and obviously a normal variable if you need a variable which, which is where you know it's going to change then just make it mutable and the thing is with a mutable uh, variable you still cannot do that because now because this variable is mutable uh, I can I can change that but then it's going to complain that is unacceptable because here it's an i32 so you know the new value has got to be an i32 value cannot be a char value so you know i could something like that perfectly legal but uh not a uh, charge so basically if i turn that thing mutable i can change that variable but i can only change it to the type it's been set at the first time whereas if i start shadowing um if i start shadowing uh variables then i can easily i don't need that mutability and I can easily change the type as well to anything I want. So basically, basically pretty much like a like a sort of a, a dynamic language, um, a dynamically typed language, like you know, like most of those uh, modern languages, Python, PHP, um, uh, uh, JavaScript, and what have you. So, so here are the differences. Whereas with with uh, with mutability, with making that mutable means you're changing that within the range and like i said i personally prefer if i'm if i'm gonna play games like this and changing the variable then i prefer to make it mutable or or you know uh, just just cast it to a different type or basically just create a different variable and have that a different type i don't like i don't like something like this because it doesn't make any sense to me you know um uh why why that should be i prefer to have here a different variable for that c value or for that char value or uh, you know make that mutable and then you know give it give it another value uh, fitting to the initial type you know so that I can, that's the kind of stuff that I'm um, that I'm but that's only my personal opinion and I prefer to have separate separate um, separate variables separate variable names for, for you know for separate uh, situations uh but nevertheless that video is here to show you uh things you can do with with in so-called immutable variables and if you really need constants then just use const and you see here it's not easy it's not it's absolutely impossible to shadow or to duplicate and if you need to change gravity you gotta change it in here